Good morning and welcome to my arena eventing vlog. Today we're taking the boys to Wellington to compete in the 100 arena eventing class, which is very exciting because if you live in the UK, you'll know that the last few weeks have been quite quiet because of the EHV virus has been an outbreak of that and it's very contagious. So a lot of like places have been on lockdown and we've decided not to go out just to keep the horses safe, which, you know, their safety and health is the most important thing, but it has been frustrating knowing there's all these things we can get out doing and not be able to do it. So we are glad to finally be back on track and getting out and getting ready for the eventing season. So yeah, a little bit nervous because it's only going to be the second time that Star and I have faced cross country fences. We haven't seen them since October and they'll be the biggest fences that we've seen together. Hopefully for Atty it's just going to be a little tune up. Um, I think we did the same competition last year in the same class. so. Hopefully, famous last words, he shouldn't be too phased by, by it. So it's more of a challenge for stars, so I have to see how he handles it. So yeah, I've left my prep this morning, so I've had just such a busy couple of days. So I'm not sure how much vlogging this is actually going to be, because it's going to probably be quite a lot of panicking that I'm running late. <laughs> so yeah, and then it's one of those days where I've got two horses in one class that's not, I mean, it's quite big, I've got maybe like 30 people, but they haven't put me first and last, they've put me two kind of more middle-ish places, so there's going to be a lot of rushing, and it's also one of those where you need to warm up and then walk the course and then compete. So it's going to be quite a rushy day, but hopefully in the lorry on the way home we'll be able to have a proper debrief about everything, so yeah, I'm really excited. It's only like a month now until eventing season. I think it might actually be five weekends, but I'm going to call it a month. So we're very, very excited. Things are starting to feel real. First event is entered and we're ready to go. Tawi's bed is all ready for tonight. And now I'm going to give my boots a polish because they are filthy, because that's what happens in January. Even if you don't feel like you're surrounded by mud and you feel relatively clean, everything manages to get trashed somehow. Don't know how, it's a mystery to us all. Doesn't happen in summer. So yeah, boots polished and I'm gonna pick out some saddle pads from my little saddle pad rack. It's difficult with arena eventing to know what you should do. Should you go traditional white and smart? Or should you match your cross country colors because you wear cross country colors? We're really not sure. I don't know what the done thing is to do even though we've done it several times before. So I think I might go one white, one black and just mix and match, we'll see. Just pulled up at the yard, ready to see the boys. They've both been out in the field, so they're gonna need a nice clean up before they get out competing, and their tack's gonna need a clean as well. Luckily, it's just doing a venting, so no dressage, which means no plathing. Woo woo, we're safe from that today. And it wasn't meant to start raining until about midday, but it's already started, so that's not ideal. It's gonna be a very wet day. Please remember to pack their New Zealand and to bring their passports. at Wellington in quite good time so we're going to go over and see if we can walk the course early they're still on the 90 but we're hoping that the show jumps will stay in the same place so we might be able to walk it and get on top of things yeah it's going all right it's quite busy so yeah expecting it to be competitive and everyone's got their nice fancy lorries but yeah we're just really excited to be back out and I've just got to get my brain in gear because some of these courses can be so long arena eventing you have like eight show jumps and often like eight nine ten cross country fences so there's gonna be a lot of memorizing the course to do passports checked and numbers collected 
And if you just ignore the fact that it says winter series on it, although I think it's going to be back to front, so you might not be able to see that. If you ignore the fact that it says winter series on it, it's basically eventing. <laughs> it's come around so quick. I'm so excited for it to be real eventing. Not long now. But yeah, feeling prepared, had a quick look at the course. Um, obviously, the show jumps are still at 90 height, but cross country fences are up, obviously. The 100, and they look quite big. So I'm a little bit nervous, especially for style, because like I said earlier, we just haven't done cross country together. We've done it like once, and it was like a tiny little hunter trial the week I got him, so hopefully it'll be all right. The boys seem to be settled enough. Not that you can really see, because they're both not playing ball. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. To be out doing this. Mum's gone to get coffee because priorities. And then we're going to see if we can get in and walk the course because there's a 90 course walk. And see if we can walk the 100. And it'll just make everything so much easier because I hate like warming it up and then walking the course and then having to get back on and warm up again. But I'm the third to go in my class on Ashley, so I just don't have time to warm up after I walk the course, if that makes sense. Like, because I only have about five, ten minutes. So, see if we can walk the course, get ahead. Someone's looking very handsome. No, you stay in the lorry. Come on. The mood in the cab is a bit nervous. I've just walked the course. Uh, I don't know if it's because I don't, haven't done cross country since October or what it is, but the fences look very big. <laughs> I'm nervous for Atty Lelum Star. So, yeah. Hopefully it'll be all right. And it's a very complicated course. So I've walked the course once. I'm gonna warm up and then go back and walk it again. I still can't really get my head around it. Yeah, a little bit nervous. Hopefully we'll be all right. So the rain has just started and the wind's picked up, which means it must be time for me to get on in my uh, cross country colors. Yeah, hopefully it's gonna be a good exercise for Atty just to reintroduce him to cross country fences because he hasn't seen any since October. Yeah, excited, just wish the rain would stop. back from my round with Atty and what a miserable day it's become. It's chucking it down. Atty was really good though, he didn't let the rain stop him. It actually got worse as we got off so we got quite lucky. Yeah he was really good, he just had the joker down and also these things always the time seems to be so slow. I always end up going like so fast and the first person that we saw go went basically a minute too fast so I was like right I'm just gonna stay right down, really just relax and we ended up like, about 30 seconds too slow. So you win some, you lose some. But no, really happy with him. 
he jumped fit perfectly and the course builder even commented on it saying how nice and flowing he made it so really happy with that and on with the start <laughs> do a full rundown of all the results either in the lorry or when we get back but really pleased with both these boys we've just made it back to the yard and it is absolutely chucking it down outside i think that might be one of the worst parts of doing horses he's all tucked up in bed with his food just chillaxing and i know that i've still got probably another hour's work in this horrible weather why I'm at that point. I'm very jealous of you. Yeah, he doesn't care. <laughs> night night. Night night. So I just got home, which means I still got Towie Spring in, the lorry to do, and a few bits and bobs just to clean before I put away. Oh, that's helpful. So we're well on the way to being done. The boys are in bed and relaxed. I've still got a few more things to do, but hopefully I won't be out here too much longer and I can go inside and have some dinner. So the lorry is unpacked and was skipped out and there's just one little pony standing in the way of me and a shower. <laughs> Need to bring her in. She's not going to be best pleased to have been left out in the cold, wet and dark this late. So yeah, going well. We're almost finished and I will go through all of my results when she's in as well. Yeah, I think, I think we're making good progress. I'm at that stage now where, you know, it's late January, early February. Everything just needs a complete spring clean, like a complete blitz. The lorry especially, like the, the outside of it is so muddy. But it almost feels kind of counterproductive when you know you're going to be going back out competing in the mud in like five days. So it is going to happen before the eventing season. And I will put my big spring clean of everything that we get up to because there's so much that needs sorting in my event season prep vlog because it is kind of prep for the event season we'd like to have everything looking clean for the start of the event season at least i put a little poll on my instagram earlier as well about who would do better today see what you guys thought i mean i thought that actually would get the most votes because obviously he's the known quantity and he did he got about 70 percent of the votes star got about 30 percent of the votes and you were actually right i'll leave that one with you and i'll be back in a second to talk you to the results probably I just started my little roundup, but then Tally decided to do a wee. So we're going to start again because I don't really think that's the content you're all here for, weirdly enough. But yeah, final. The draggle pony is in. Her rug still needs a change, but I think she just wants to eat her hay for a minute. So I will end the vlog and then I will do her rug. So yeah, 
basically I can't remember where I left off because I tend to get really like stressed right before the competition and the vlogging it doesn't go down the drain it's just not as fluid and sort of well thought through if they can ever be well thought through because I just sort of like oh I get nervous and today was definitely not an exception to that so basically we managed to make it for the 90 course walk I think I said that and it was only like a short course walk because it's in the middle of the class and the show jumps were fine I mean at first I kind of thought they were the 100 show jumps because they were quite big and then I was walking across country and it was big but I also just couldn't work out the route. It was so twisty turny that we got to the end of the 90 course walk. Like they, the first horse came into the arena and I'd still only worked out about half of my course. So I was like, mm, not ideal that. So we warmed up actually, got him all ready and warmed him up. And then we had to come back and do the 100 course walk, the course walk I was originally going to do. So that was fine. It was all right. It just meant like a quite a quick turnaround then to get on him and compete. But he was already warmed up, so it was okay. And then I just managed to work out the last little bits of the fence, like the courses and the cross country fences. So yeah, it was, it was all right. I think it was just in the moment, like it's, it's quite convoluted. There was 19 fences in total, plus a water, which didn't have a number, just was flagged. So yeah, quite a few fences. To remember in an arena, you're kind of like spiraling around and yeah, it was all right. It was all right. Once I uh, thought through it. I think the first time I walked the course, my nerves were just a bit kind of, they were taking over, so I wasn't really thinking. I was just kind of walking in lines. And then Atty came out and warmed up lovely. He was quite sassy today. He was just really enjoying life. I mean, I'm not really that surprised. It's kind of that time of year. He warmed up lovely, went in, and he just made it feel so easy. He jumped so nicely. Everything off, like, these perfect strides. It was just flying. Yeah, he just made it feel really easy, which... In some ways, it's kind of what we hoped slash expected because obviously it's only 100 and he's competed at novice and he's kind of quite comfortable at novice. So it was never really meant to be too challenging. Oh, Ty wants to say hello. <laughs> but you soon. You're going to be out next weekend. But that said, it was only, I think, his fourth time jumping since he'd been back in work after his winter break and his first time seeing cross-country fences since October. So although I hoped it would go well, I wasn't completely sure. He just flew everything, all the skinnies, all the big wide fences, just everything. And then we were coming down to the last, which after your last cross-country jump, which was fence 18, you jump a joker, which is a 110 show jump, which is cleverly designed because obviously they've just been jumping those cross-country fences. And then to go and jump a show jump, you need to be able to really bring them back. And I just said, you know, take a check, bring him back. And I was like, no, I've got this, and kind of flew at it, and uh, yeah, have it down. So that was a little bit gutting to sort of end the round like that, especially because a joker, if you have the joker down, it counts as more than a normal show jump, so instead of being four penalties at six, which was so undeserved, but these things happen. And it wasn't even like we just brushed it, we did whack it quite hard, so I'm not going to say, an unfortunate pole, or he breathed on it because he didn't, he knocked it, <laughs> it fell. It was, it was fair, it was just annoying. So then I was quite nervous for Star because, like I said, I think I said earlier, I've only actually cross-countryed him. It's only about my second time jumping cross-country fences with him. The first time was like a little tiny hunter trial. It was like 80, well, it was a 90 centimetre class, but really the fences were not very big. And yeah, I was pretty nervous because again, that was in October. So it's been quite a long time since then. And he had a little wobble in the wall arena. Unfortunately, it got really, really busy just as we were about to go in. You know, that classic sort of like three quarters of the way through, everyone's come into the warm arena. And people were just like cutting in front of him to do fences and just like going off weird angles. And he wasn't loving it at all. <laughs> he was a little bit like, oh, what are you doing? And uh, he had to have a lead into the arena because I think he was just a bit stressed. But as soon as he was in the arena, he like stepped up a gear and he was amazing. I literally almost cried at the end of our round. I was so happy. I mean, you'll see, we didn't like go for the time. We had loads of time penalties um, because I was like, right, I'm gonna trot you here. I'm just gonna bring you back and just relax because we weren't in it to be competitive. We were in it to try something new, which was jumping those kind of cross country fences. He was flu. He annoyingly did have uh, the planks down and that was an unfortunate pole. As overused as that saying was, that was just one of those poles where you just think, really, you had to fall, we couldn't have just stayed up. <laughs> but 
I'm putting really that fast because it meant the pressure was off and I could just go slow and do all the long routes and just take my time. So that's kind of what I did. So yeah, he jumped the rest so nicely. I thought he might be a bit phased about the change from show jumps to cross country because that's something he won't have seen before. But no, he was like, ah, oh, that's fine. Yeah. And then he had a little look at the water. We had to come down back to Trot and I think he did a stride of walk into the water. But no, honestly, so pleased. He jumped all of the big, meaty cross country fences, as you have seen, because I will have inserted the clips previously. And I don't think I could have asked any more from either of them. It was exactly what I wanted to get out and achieve today. And I'm now so excited for the eventing season, which I feel like I say every time, but now more than ever, I really, really am. So before I end this vlog, I think the last thing to add is I don't know if anyone noticed my snazzy saddle pad that I wore on Star today, if you did, points to you, because I'm really excited that this year I'm a sponsored rider for Better Life. If you don't know who they are, they're a supplement company and I highly recommend you check them out. I'll put the link to their website below, like in the little description box because our ponies have been on their pharmacon supplement for a while now it just makes us feel like they're getting the best joint care and the difference it's had has just been brilliant we've also just put star on their pharma plus top line supplement because his weight's just dropping off a little bit it's that time of year where all the grass and the field's gone and it's not growing back so just to keep his condition up for the start of the event season yeah i've had such great experiences with them that it was really exciting to be able to work with them this year and i'm very excited to see where that leads so yeah i think that's just about everything i have to say in this vlog i don't know how long it's going to be i didn't think it's going to be very long but i can see i've been talking for like six minutes so it might end up being quite long we might vlog next saturday where we're hoping to get tower to arena eventing but if not she'll end up at combined training on Thursday and I won't vlog that because you guys have just seen a combined training vlog but yeah all exciting things everything is go 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 for the event season because it's now officially only like a month away I think that's everything I have to say thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna end the vlog so that I can go inside and get warm so thank you all for watching should I say don't forget to like and subscribe I don't usually say that but shake it up on this channel don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon bye